Tesla Eiffel TV. Stop panicking now. What? what are you panicking about? Nothing. Mr. Nee always panics because what happens really? is there's an awful lot at stake tomorrow night. And not just the fighters feel it. Soft lad feels it. He, re he really does, you do feel it. He, he look he acts tough. <laughs> Hey. Don't mess. <laughs> what was the bigger moment for you? Was He's it? one geezer who wouldn't chin me. Oh yeah? Yeah, no, he what? wouldn't chin me. What would you do? No, we right? done, we do we done, I said, I said, get this. He's who is one. most likely yeah. to chin me in boxing? I went through them, I was like doing a book on it, so I was going, I said like, Shane McGuigan. Dillian. Dillian, yeah. He was definitely yeah. one. Del Boy. Right. No, Del Boy wouldn't. No, he was close at the press. <laughs> he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't. He'd be amazing, um, he wouldn't. Carl Frampton. He could. He's got it in him. He's, got, um, he's a nasty little man. He's got it in him. Um, I love him, but he's got it in him. Who else did we say? Hennessy. Like, Hennessy. Warren. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't hit you. He'd hit you with something. He, he hasn't got the balls to hit you. I'm not going to say his name. Oh, right. so don't know who we're talking about, but he, he would hit you with something. Um, Most likely. I know. You know. I would look at it. Who? There's I, a few times I've had a meeting with Dillian and said mainly when your name, names come up, you know, he's gone. Get me Tommy. No, that ain't going to happen. What? What would you do? If someone who weren't a fighter or whatever come and give him a left up, and I'm there, and you're there, what would you do? It's on in it because he's my friend, well, he's my mate, and we've got him business. Yeah, do you hear that? So if you want it, just <laughs> no, bring no, it. no, 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 what would you do, Coogan? Answer the question. No one's going to attack James. And what if they did? No one's yeah. going to attack Eddie. Well, well, I'm big, you know. No, you're big, mate. Listen, they, they, what they, when you're big, it gives you the kind of security. And they, they think to themselves, oh, yeah, I would do it. But then they get close and they go, you know what? He's a bit fucking big. It's, I've done it myself, personally. I've got up to someone I've thought, if this fella starts... Hey, Deont Deontay Wilder. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs> no, Deontay Wilder's brother. No, yeah. he's little. Yeah. He's little. He's small. He phoned me after that incident with Deontay. He went, they dropped that one out. He's messy. <laughs> Like, he kind of hugged me and his arms went around my whole body and I was thinking, this motherfucker's a big cricket, he's massive, he's, he's huge, so I thought, yeah, that we have seen enough of that. Cooks, what do you want to know anyway? Yeah, what's Eddie's on? on a time schedule. Oh, and I mean, I mean, right. So, gym. asking him the other day, he said there's a, another option to Parker Wilder and oh, the Hay rematch. So, what's the other option? It's not to do with you, yeah. We're, we're going to discuss that tonight. You made that up? No, I don't know anything about it. No, I do. I do. There's another option. What? I thought you wanted to be a two-way world champion. Giant haystacks. What? Not talking about ITV the way I look. Not, we're not talking about What's my What's happening with ITV boxing? They were supposed to go June 10th, but I think it all went tits up. And I you think with that clown? You're the one who's going to fight you. Selling the belt to Matalan. Once, that once, one. Once, I, um, once a sparring session with you. not even giving him the name. I'm not giving him credit. Mate, a sparring session, are you for real? Really? 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 Don't because, start, yeah, I'm not going to start yet. Nah, it's gonna annoy me, so I'm not gonna get going on that. Yeah. What we're doing, we're looking, we're looking to the future. I'm a heavyweight we're now. We're looking for tomorrow night. That's what we're looking for. We are, yeah. That's all it's about tomorrow night. It's one of them nights, isn't it? That could make Kelbrook again. Well, it could make him fight. You know, the, the fact is, is look, the, we took the Golovkin fight for a number of reasons. One, it was good money. Two, we thought we could win. And three, it would make sure that we could give him the profile needed to make money in fights like this. So, could we have sold 27,000 tickets without the Golovkin fight? No. Could we have done the pay-per-view numbers without a Glockin fight? No. Could it have even been pay-per-view without a Glockin fight? Maybe not. So that's done now. The belt wasn't on the line. The belt is on the line now, which means a lot more. This is his weight. It's not a fight that you can say, oh, he's got nothing to lose. Don't worry about it, like the Golovkin fight. This is, he's got everything to lose in this fight. It's no disgrace to lose to Errol Spence, but it would be a massive blow for Kel Brook's career to I'll lose that belt. Him. Exactly. So this is, a, this is very important. And a lot of people have got a lot Forget the financial investment, the emotional investment in Kel Brook. Known him a long time, he's known him a long time. Sky have known him a long time. You know, so everybody wants him to win. Got the same barrister, defeated the world. Kel, Sean Kel's... Porter looks a unit, man. What oh, the yeah. fuck's he got on? Yeah, terrible combo. Mate, terrible combo. He looks like yeah. he's going to fucking... The... He looks like he's going to, to Saudi Arabia to, to <laughs> hide in the sand. I don't know what the fuck has gone on. What was the bigger moment for you? Him at Goodison Park or Brooke uh, in tomorrow in tell you after the fight. Moment. I'll tell you after the fight. Tomorrow, because you, you can't live in the past, so you have to. Tomorrow night, he wins. It's the biggest moment. Yeah, he, see, it's, it's hard for him because he's, he's enjoyed like, so many great moments. Frotch grows. Yeah, but you know, the, just I, do, I just remember with the, uh, there's a few things that stand out at the yeah. Goodison Park night. The first one was when we 
come through the players' tunnel. And then turn the first one was my text message the night before. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what, which was? Nothing. I texted them and said, listen, I hope it sells out, but it's probably not going to sell out, so I apologise because I thought it would. So I always, I don't like when something doesn't go the way I thought. But, yeah. but anyway, walking out of the players' tunnel, turning left to that Gladys stand there, and it was like, it's the moment where you're so proud, and I was behind, I just went like this. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, it's hard beating boy out your chest. It's like, yeah, it's like, come on. Anyway, and obviously the first round was like, oh, oh. And I always tell the story, it gets chinned, and like the front row, that for the first two minutes, 45 seconds around, were on their feet. Oh, kill anyway, kill he gets he gets chinned. We all sit down like this, and this is, and he's on the stool, everyone's like this. I went to my old man. Fucking hell. And he went, oh, that's not the best. I went, yeah. Anyway, then obviously came out, recouped in round two, round four. I was like, it was just mental, mental. The scenes, I think one of the, like, when he brought, when he had his son in the ring, that moment, and when and when Bill Kemmerich got up on the ropes, me and my old man were in absolute bits. I don't cry anything, but something boxing related, or that kind yeah, but I don't, like, but all your emotions are involved in the event, your emotion involved with the fighter, yeah. and then when he's and trying. And pay-per-view buys. How many tickets we sold? I oh, know. I mean, um, like, you know. the emotions. <laughs> Listen, that's that's why it was very emotional after after our last one. Yeah, which was fantastic because uh, you have to remember he's had to sit in a room on my behalf because I can't sit in rooms like this. So he he has to deal with it because if I go in a room and do business, I'm gonna hurt someone or, or throw something or attack something. So he has to deal with it because I could have dealt with it and I don't want to. He's the man he knows. Talking about negotiation. I oh, know. But listen, we've come a long way. We have. <laughs> he's, oh. been waiting to, he's been waiting to do that. this. I've but done I'm, this five or six times. He's got to do a live pay-per-view show. No, but I'm going to do it. I nearly no, done it when he was going to do it. When you're going to do it. When you're, annou no, no, when you're announcing you're fighting again. And I was going to come into the interview and go, Tony, we're going again. I mugged him live on TV, just like that great moment. <laughs> I didn't should we reenact it? No, we should Come on, let's reenact it. Go on. Come on, push Sorry, me off. You can't. No, can't do it. <laughs> no, you can't get off him. Hey, where's your like dad? That. Where's the dad? Where's your dad? Hey, <laughs> Just stand there a minute. We're going to reenact this. You stand there. You're my Stop dad. Stop it. You're my dad. Stop. Turn around. <laughs> get off, you <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't that I was not in an emotional right place, I was emotionally so all messed what, up. Thing, at, at the time though, right? You're <laughs> at the time, like when I think about it, I didn't even realise yeah. that happened. And then when you look at it, you think, oh, fuck it. Anyway. Now, you anyway. know what, I, I, I still... I'm if it wasn't him, sorry. I'll be honest, if it wasn't him... I'd have walked out the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had the raving up because I know actually like he's I wasn't emotionally he's, he's stable. Heart on, he's heart on the sleeve, but there's certain fighters you do like I shouldn't have done it though. Uh, I know you think I should, I shouldn't have. If I'm asleep on the floor in round two and you've oh, no, you wouldn't have you no. the king and laughed at me. Yeah. He just said I'm shit like he said in the build up, I'm the worst world I wouldn't, champion. I wouldn't in the world. some people like when I, AJ goes a bit like I can't believe I grabbed him. Fit like you don't want to be grabbing AJ after the fight because he's still you see like he's when he knocked him down in the fifth round. Oh, like that. He's jumped up, headlock, and everything. AJ's like this. Hey. And I just said, you know what I said to him? Lad, you fucking cracked it. I said, you've done it the way no one said you could, including me, you're the king of the world. And he just, he's like, I, said, I was saying to him, you're king, I was saying to him, you're king of the fucking world. And he was just like, just like, he, he was just like cool about it. And I was like, mate, if that was me, right, I swear, I would have picked up the first camera off Sky and just thrown it in the middle of the ring on the floor. I don't know why I'd do that, but I would have. <laughs> I would have just smashed the camera on the floor and I would have just said that's what the king does. What about what about the old uh, reception that Dave Allen got? Oh, and I know, he's cracking I watched his interview yeah, and he missed me miss saying, Why are you watching that? He keeps swearing, put it off the kids today and stuff, and I was saying, No, I want to watch it. I've sparred with Dave Allen. Uh, and I've always had a lot of respect for him. I stopped following him on Twitter and he says he and Pricey and I stopped because he was giving Pricey stick and I don't like that and I can't be two faced. But I started following him again and uh, I, did, I never knew his story to be totally honest, but He's a he's a really genuine kid, and you know what, mate? Is our fella better get in that ring and hug him tomorrow when he comes home? Do you know if he doesn't? I'm gonna drag his half fella to him and I'll and I'll hug him for him because I've got so much. There's just he's such a lovely lad, and I just I hope he does. It'd be good tonight if he does it, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd be right, unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. And yeah. also, you know, another lad who you give every Michael, opportunity to. Michael Marsden, who is his manager, cares about him. So one thing that was evident in that video was he ain't out of the woods yet. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So Spits we've all got to make sure, you know, like when he talked about, he stays on the street. He was, he was in his room, in his house for six weeks wearing the same clothes. That's the point where those people around you, who yes. maybe you didn't have them, grab hold of you and say, That's mate, well we've got to, you know, let, uh, just someone go and live with him. Take him away. Just Anything. take him away. Take like, him to another country. Exactly. So we've got to make sure house. that that's the same, whether that's Michael Marsden paying him in instalments, you know. It's obvious you can't give him the full pay, can no, you? No, but, but the main thing is, and you know this, you're a fighter. As long as a fighter is motivated, knows when he's fighting, oh, yeah. and has something to aim for, they're good as gold. That's the biggest the, part of what he's just said. The moment that it's like, there's nothing for me, no why am I doing, wasting my time, I ain't going to the gym, I ain't got yeah. a date, no one's going to give me a fight, that's when you're done. Only Bell you stays in the gym when he's not got a date. Yeah, but, uh, evidently. Bit big. I've been lifting a lot of weights, no, but <laughs> uh, it's true. Despite what you, you said, you can't, you give know, a fight at a date and you'll see the best of them. No one, Dave Allen, you know, and listen, Dennis Hobson gave him a start, looked after him. After that, yeah, he but went, you've got to look at it. You're saying give him a date. Doesn't, he's had no one to give him a date, so he's, he hasn't been with people, and then he hasn't helped himself. But the best thing about it is he's recognised his faults mm. and he's doing something about it. Yeah, so it's, it's not like... to talk about it. Yeah, he's, not, he's not wallowing in self-pity like yeah. a lot of these guys do. They sit there and go, oh, nothing works. He's going out there and doing something um, about it. So good on the lad. He's incredibly he's brave to have, even to admit his position now, oh, which know. is like, you know, I, I want it. I want a bet. Like, I don't, I'm not over it. Like, you know, most people would go, I'm through that now. I don't yeah. bet no more. Yeah, yeah, I don't bet. He's mm -hmm. saying, saying, I, I would love to, I want to. Like, if someone, he's saying like he someone who's smoking, isn't it? You know. Well, when someone turns around and goes, you know what, I don't even fancy a cigarette anymore. I've cracked it. But the, the ones that deal with it better are the ones that go, do you know what? Like, I'm old man. Old man used to smoke 40 a day. Did he's, he? Yeah. And he's oh, he's on like, the nicorette. Yeah, but he stopped then. And then but he, every day he wakes up, he says, do you know what? Do you know what I'd love more than anything? Cigarette. A cigarette. My master's. But every now and again he'd have, you know, but it's like he loves it and he will, he will never stop loving it. And that's the thing with David, he's gambling. If you can understand the problem, you can deal with it a lot better. You can you find know? the solution if you don't yeah. understand the problem. As long as you're honest it. with yourself. I'll be cheering for him some on mate. I'll be cheering for Definitely. him. He's it's a tough fight, by the way. Yeah, I looked yeah. at that kid today, yeah, Wayne, and he looked uh, he looked handy and I asked a couple couple of you what you like I haven't seen enough of him and he said, Spar with Joshua. If you've been in the Joshua camp, you can fight because you're only gonna last a day because he ain't playing around and sparred three himself. Weeks, he he's been three weeks in the Joshua camp, so he's done alright. You know, he's been about, he's had a couple of knockout losses, yes, but he can fight. Mm. And Dave Allen, let's be talking, he he's isn't the biggest heavyweight. Well. He isn't the biggest heavyweight, so he's going to struggle as it goes later on. But one thing I will spar with Dave Allen, I'll say, not the best cook, but very good on the inside. So if this guy can't bang him out, he ain't going to beat him on the inside. And I ain't even seen this time, but he's very good on the inside, Dave Allen. I've worked with him personally, so I know can take a great shot as well. So that stands in a good stand. Not that I can punch out anything, but he does take a great shot. Just to wrap this up quickly, yeah. when are we going to find out when this man's out next? Uh, I reckon at the end of June, something like that. 26th of May today. Yeah. Yeah. End of June. There's no rush. Like it's definitely happening this year. Yeah. It's oh, just whether it's September, October, November, December. I mean, he's happy with any of them. I really, I'll probably fight next week. The only thing is I can't share bills anymore, so uh, it's just not possible. I would. I swear to God, I would. I'd share one with AJ, but. Nah, he ain't given. He ain't given. Every, every, you know, as, as we had our interview the other day about the pay-per-view in the back end. Oh, me too. You know, the priorities are, you know, you got AJ Klitschko, you got Bellew against Hay Parker, Wilder, whatever it is. You got Kel Brook against Amir Khan. Wow. You got the Gal against Groves. You got Smith if he beats Durrell. You got listen Conor McGregor options, against. You know, I mean, it's listen like, to what's going to happen on Sky Sports Boxing. Just listen. To what's we going can't on. do all of them. You, yeah, but we're going to. You just can't. <laughs> we're going to. We're going. We are going to. You can't. One a week. No one, one can compete. Fortnight. No one. You can't compete with that. The schedule he just gave you and the possibilities about what all these fights can do. Win or lose, you're just getting great fight after great fight. See that? Salesmanship right there. Yeah, I know. He's definitely having a job for matching. Tell him, Jerry. <laughs> um, quick hypothetical situation. If you had four geezers who could have it in front of you and you had to pick three boxers to stand with you to have it with the four geezers, who do you pick? Jamie Cox. <laughs> it's the look he gives you. You're basing it off his look. No, because at the moment he loves me. <laughs> Just stick to your own camp as well. Okay. Stick to your own camp. Thank you very much. Cox. You know what, Dillian can clear rooms out. Yeah, but he, he, see what it does, he, he frightens You wouldn't have Joshua in there, no. 
I wouldn't want to hurt his hands. Means as rapid as he is. <laughs> you better think he's coming. He actually means that. He's, yeah, yeah, okay. he's coming. He's coming because I said he's coming. Yeah. Oh, I don't care what he says. If um, I'm there, he's coming. Frotch. Frotch. Yeah, he's a caveman, mate. Yeah. So you don't mess he with them type of people. He can have it. Frotch, Cox, and Bellew. Oh, that's a lovely trio. That is, yeah. Now, if you was to replace like Eddie Hearn with Cop, someone, I'll be like that. I'll be like that. Let's fucking deal with it. <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> like the fella off of Snatch. Yeah, What's his yeah. name? He's got the dogs. He feeds them to the pigs. No, is that Snatch? It is, isn't it? Feeds them to the pigs. Um, Bricktop. 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 Yeah. He's Bricktop. getting down in the seat. <laughs> so if you yeah, were to mate, replace Eddie with fucking... someone, who would you put in there? You what? Know you wouldn't. You'd have him. If you was to fight four people, you'd have Eddie as one of your four. Don't be fucking soft, mate. Have you seen the mushes I knock about with? They're like fucking brutes. I'm not going to put him out to fight. Well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. So, I'm a bit worried about all these interviews. I'm getting like <laughs> labelled as a bit of a soft. Fucking. You're not soft. You're not you soft. I mean? I to, mean, be, to be fair, he's too, I think he's actually. I'm not sure if you're tougher than your dad. You know. My dad? No, my dad's not. Mate. He's listen. He's from Dagenham. He's from a council. Mate, so he's, I was, he's, I'm a he's got a rough, I can, I can, I can have a row, but he would just pick something up. You see the thing that impressed about Eddie is willing to come to the gym and do the graph. Can you show me another man who's in his position who's willing to do it? I've, we've actually ran, we've done runs and that's together. He'll do the graft. So what all I'll say is, can you show me another guy in his position who's willing to do that? You can't. Not in the whole world. Is that true? What did you just thinking about then? There's not I was going to do a cut of Jerry Maguire lines because this is our thing. This is our <laughs> thing on the phone. You know? Yeah, we go through these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the stad's definitely you, the brains. <laughs> you'd, you'd, <laughs> laugh, you'd laugh if you saw some of the texts back and forward. We've got to tell him, Jerry. Yeah. Tell him, Jerry. Tell me, Jerry. Say I it, wake up every morning and I say, this is going to be a great day. <laughs> Dickie Fox, that's my old man. Yes, well, anyway, I've got to go to the rules, mate. Yeah, I've right. got to go. When I'm going tomorrow night, Eddie, tune in to Skybox office. It's going to be one not to miss.